Hi, in this video I will show you how to create the input field and plus and minus buttons and update the input field's value with these buttons. Well, uh, the task sounds pretty simple, but uh, there is a small workaround needed. So the problem here is that when I add the action to change input value and I select the uh, input value, I've already created it for you, uh, I cannot just take the uh, input value and do any mathematical operations with it. So uh, in order to avoid this problem, I hopefully it's going to be fixed in next releases of Adalo, but for now uh, we will have to use a temporary variable. So uh, here is uh, how it works. Uh, in the database, uh, I have created a temporary variable called uh, TMP quantity. Uh, maybe for your project, it's not going to be in users database, but for in uh, order details database or something. So what I do here is that uh, by pressing a plus button, I'm updating the logged in user, this database. I'm updating this variable by taking the uh, quantity input, uh, the value from quantity input, in, and I increase it by one. And with the second action, I uh, change the input value uh, of this quantity input to the value of this temporary variable. And uh, I'm doing the same with minus button. So first I update logged in user temporary variable taking form input minus one and then I is it here change input value to this new updated uh, variable value so uh, don't forget to initialize the input so to put it uh, zero there uh, here is how it works. Uh, so I have zero, one, two, three, and for example, if I'm entering the uh, data 399, it's going to be increased to 400, 401, and accordingly, I can uh, decrease uh, the uh, input value uh, with the minus button. So here it is, hope it helps.